this is the door? Yeah. Alright, man. I'm going up to the roof. That's what I'm doing. I love how every single roof is like unlocked. What is your emergency? Oh, I think my heart stopped. The left side of my face has gone numb. The Heart Stopper, the all new tower of a meal at Burger Shot. It's the six pound burger. Five, four, five. Wait, what was it? It's five, four, five, 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 zero, one, two, two. Five, four, five. Five 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 zero one two two. Shaniqua, baby. Look, girl. Leave the rooftop. It kind of makes me want to play Hitman too. <laughs> also. Especially the seasons, because I never played that. Get back to Earth now, please. <laughs> Careful. Hijo puta. I'll break your fucking kneecaps. Chill. I didn't do anything. I dealt with him. You did the right thing. I hope that the kids out there get this message and realize that there are better paths. I'm not interested oh in my gosh, dude. Let's not put there's nothing wrong if a hundred. No! You almost hit me, but that's okay. I'll still take the cab. Where are you going, man? Yeah, we'll go to Packy. Asenberg and them booty cutters? I'd do something special with that. Harboring a grudge. All I'm saying is that we'll all be judged in the end. All of your brothers. And you, Patrick. And you, Kate. Who's gonna judge Kate? What would she win if they did Virgin of the Year? No. I'm thinking maybe you can catch VD for both Fuck of us, you, Patrick. Katie. Language. Sorry, Ma. Ho oh, ho, there he is. Mr. Fucking Crazy Man. You want a beer? No. Good, because I ain't fucking got none. Very funny. Maybe if being a drunkard doesn't work out, you can be a comedian. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Kate, fuck off out of here. But aren't you going to introduce us? Sure. This is Nico, some drug dealing to fucking generate from some armpit in Eastern Europe. That's my ma. Nice to meet you. Hi. And this is my sister, lovely lass, scared to bits of life, and fucking off out of here right now before I throw a fucking bottle at her. Patrick. Nice to meet you. Likewise. See you around. Bye. What a girl. I think she likes you. Word to the wise, though, she don't put out. Which is convenient, because <laughs> if she did, I'd have to kill you. Understood. Good lad. You got any drugs on you, boy? No. Shit. Well, probably a good thing. We got some business to take care of. Come on. Interesting. We've got business out at the docks in Algonquin. Where's your car, man? We need a car. Well, there's one right here, so we'll just call this our car. Okay, there's a ship coming in, and we're the welcoming party. Who are we welcoming, and what have they got that makes this drive worth the effort? We're welcoming some of our cousins from the east, but we don't know what it is that they're bringing in exactly. 
All we know is that it's worth a dollar or two. My brother Gerald had word about it through this Italian, Ray Pacino. He gave us the heads <laughs> up in exchange for a cut of the home. What makes you think that the information... Right in front of a cop, too. First off, I don't trust this guinea for a second. We wouldn't be working for him if our family still had the same status it did back in the day. But that's another story. Am I going to hear this story? Anyone who hangs around my family hears about the old days. Just wait. Oh, yeah. Ray Pacino's a slimy motherfucker. The one thing you can rely on him for is greed. I'm too small time to be worth setting up, so the one angle he can be playing is the cash one. Makes sense. Yeah, he'll probably try to give us a fraction of whatever this stuff's worth, but it'll be a fun night. Depends on what you think is fun. A stealing gunfire what the? car chases all the <laughs> There's so many falling through the center. Me, the general population, I'm not so sure. General population? That's a prison term. You ever been inside? Not in this country. In Europe. They do things different there. Not so much. One sec. Oh, thank you. Must have been a real. Forgot we could just take one. Thought he was gonna be real. All right, there we go, Patrick. All right, here we are. What's the plan? We get up on the roof of that warehouse. There should be a good view of the dock so we can scope that sh Stick to me, man! Alright. We're going this way! So gonna, let me guess, jump up here. Chimmy, Chimmy, Chimmy. You better be right about this shipment. If it's just fish, I'm gonna be pretty irritated, Pecky. This is where the deal's meant to be going down. I just heard a gunshot. And here's the boat, right on time. See those boxes on the back of the boat? They must be bringing clone meds. Meds? Yeah, stuff that'll stop housewives cutting their wrists and make their husbands get wood. Meds. Molly, sedatives, antidepressants, meds. Okay, how do we do it? We'll wait until the truck is loaded, then we'll take it. Simple as that. I'll cover you from up here while you're down on the ground cleaning up. These better be some good fucking pills. The housewives better be grateful. In cabin to get to the ground. Okay. You gotta jump down there to get at him, man. Three, two, one. Hello, boys.
Got him on lockdown. If only it was that easy, they just free load, just pull the charging handle back. All set. Nice. All right, Nico, you drive. I'll take out anyone who tries to follow us. We're going up to Ray's lockup in Westminster off of Union Drive West. <laughs> the stuff all in there sure is all safe and sound whole truckload of it well the wives and mistresses are gonna be happy when their men get a hold of those huh? whole city's gonna be hard in a few days time who's this that's my boy Nico he's an absolute savior couldn't have done it without him Nico Come over here. You work for these men's drank all of it. Fucking guinea. It says 5 p.m. It says start at 7 a.m. and go until 5 p.m. And it's hey, 4 p.m. right now. And I've had at least three of these already today, too. So I would say I'm on track. I'm a little bit of ahead of track, too. 7k damn Ladies, this is Oh my gosh, Roman he never wants to help me anymore. Hey. Ladies. Yep. All right. Like Taxi. Wait, oh, wait. Let's get to so the unknown contact, I guess. Here we go. Thanks a lot. Wrong is right. Look, I'm not in the business of caring about people's feelings, bud. Yeah? Boo fucking who? Hey. Hi. Listen, I know what you must be thinking, but don't bother. I'm sorry, but I don't see how you know what I must be thinking. You've killed people. You should be dead yourself. Or inside. You're just lucky it was me and not someone else who got their hooks into you. 
I'm sorry that I lied to you. And and weirdly, in some ways, you're a nice guy. <laughs> I'm the creeps I normally date. But you're damaged goods. No doubt. Let's go. In here. Salute? Eat my ass, buddy. I'm up for the promotion, and you're not. What the hell are we doing here? We're going to meet someone. Sounds fun. You know, you and your cousin, you should get out. What you're looking for, you won't find. Feds are all over it. Crime is done. You've watched too many movies. Whatever you say, Michelle. Or whatever your name is. It's Karen. My name is Karen. Interesting. And you whore for the government. I kind of like the honesty in that. I have a clear conscience. How very lucky for you. <sighs> In here, Office 396. Hi there. Here he is. I can see that. Thanks, Karen. Hey, cheer up. You did good. You'll get a Sammy, if you care about that sort of thing. Thank you. So, Mr. Bellic. Her name isn't even Quite Michelle. I didn't even know. Story. Who are you? The FIB? The FIB? Do I look homosexual? Do you think I care about the size of your Johnson? Now. You can't always tell who the good guys are. I'm not a good guy, but I'm fighting with them. And guess what? So are you. Hooray. That's the spirit. Nothing like a bit of sarcasm when someone's got you by the balls. Now, I need you to find something out for me. Find out everything you can about a man called Oleg Minkoff. He lives on Iroquois, back in Hove Beach. And if I say no? I Should I start a Horizon Zero Dawn series? FIB, Haven't finished it. I think I got really close to. Blow. Uh, Go to his I, house. I think you should. And I think you time. should capitalize on when it drops on PC. What's your name? Not so, Call me. I would soon. start start working on it. Go. Like edit your videos and stuff. Hey, hey. If that's what you want to do. Welcome to America. And then uh, get them ready to... Bushka. Um. Yeah. Once it drops, pretty much go to uh. Drop all the videos. That'll be like a perfect time too. When's the release date? I think it might be... Oh, actually, I'm not sure. I don't think they put out a release date for it yet. Mr. Minkov? Anybody here? What have you got for me? Not much. He keeps a clean house, he's got a computer. Check his emails. Call back with any information that would indicate his current whereabouts. Think about making a series, uh, all artsy and aesthetic to stand out. Would be cool. Did it say we can check mail? There's an email that says he's meeting someone at Tulsa Street in Hove Beach. Perfect. I'll send someone to pick up the hard drive. You go to Tulsa Street. Eliminate Minkoff. Whoa, killing is very different from gathering information. You are acting in the interest of your new countrymen and keeping yourself out of prison. For once, this is a murder you don't have to feel confused about. Dispose of Minkoff, then call me. Since it's so close, we'll just take our own car. Ah! 
Nice. So now you get over that quality barrier? Yeah, now I get that. I feel like I just saw this guy, and it's actually a pretty nice car. I want that car. Minkoff is dead. The country is safe. Not by a long shot, smart enemy. I don't think you need the car where you're doing. Sentinel. Best chase I've seen. Yeah, that's been, that was a pretty good one. I'm gonna see if GTA for Spawn Sentinel. Is there a code for one? Let's see, Sentinel. Sentinel XS in GTA 4? Where's that? Oh, it's the modified version. That's the Sultan RS. Oh, wait, what? Then you will spot the Sentinel XS on the road. Ah. Here it is now. Okay, so you need the Sultan RS, and then you'll be able to find the Sentinel. Spawn. Is there a cheat spawn? There's nothing special about it apart from looks awesome. I found mine in Algonquin after I completed the game. Okay. Oh well. How much of the story is left? Uh, let's see. Stats. Missions passed. Missions failed, attempted, 51, um, so we've done 47, GTA 4 total mission. So there's 34 in the first part. How many total missions are there? 34 there. See that. Seven in Bohan. And then what? 
and it doesn't tell you for the next ones. Number. Ninety two, I think. Wait, story story missions are about ninety two or ninety four. So, yeah. We're kind of like halfway then. <laughs> A little bit more than halfway. Sort of. We're making pretty good progress for this though. Like surprisingly, like actually pretty good progress. Let's go do Packy's missions. Let's do it. Great, thanks. Nico, what's this I hear about you running with Patrick McQuarrie now these days? He's got work and he's a good guy. You're not planning on taking him down? I'm not planning on taking him down. He's my damn Packy McQuarrie, Francis McQuarrie. It's all starting to make sense. I knew Irish families were big, but I didn't expect to run into brothers in the place the size of Liberty City. Yeah, just thank the Lord you ran into Packy. Packy's just a hood, but Gerald is into some serious shit. If that asshole ever comes back from Ireland, I can't be... My brothers ain't no good, Nick. You know what? Maybe if doing what you do is good, I should meet the other McCreary's. Be careful what you wish for. Waste not, want nots. So the plan was they were gonna hide the diamonds in the queen's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, Nico. <laughs> Get your fucking hands off my fucking sister, boy. We're talking, not having casual sex, Patrick. I pray after the amount of practice you've had, you'd know the difference. Ooh. Sure, I know the difference. One leaves you feeling sad and empty and alone. And the other's casual sex. <laughs> then I'm quite sure you and Mr. Nico here will have fun on your play date. Hey! Coming, Ma! You boys play nice now. For sure! Hey! Okay! Oh, we're gonna play real nice. <laughs> They're clean as a fucking whistle. One previous owner, yeah. safely driven, ready for action. We got an opportunity, my boy. Yep. Fortune favors the brave. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. So is you down, boy? Or is you out? Down for what? Down for robbing a thief. Robin Hood. Exactly. Robin <laughs> fucking Hood. <laughs> Who are you going to rob? The fucking mafia, boy. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Is the money good? What's the risk? Well, the risk is we all die a very slow and painful oh. death. Oh. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. Why? Good. Very good indeed. <laughs> so you in, big guy? We're gonna have to kill you. Well, since you put it that way, I mean, right. Good. All right, right. All right. Let's yeah. go. Let's do this. The whole conversation. Yeah. Can you get us a car? I hear that. I'm afraid these two idiots can't drive for shit. Fuck you, Packy. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, crap. That's only a two-seater. Wait, there's a car right here, though. Question is, is it unlocked? Aha! Nice. Take us out to the ways of Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> He's a terrorist. Are you just gonna litter like that, huh? A mafia controlled waste management plant? You fucking guessed it. It's an Ancelotti operation. Ray tipped us off about a big payoff they just got. A fat cash payoff. Ancelotti's, huh? I can't tell none of those block families apart. Ancelotti's, Gambinos, Pecorinos. It's the fucking Pegarinos, man. We're working for them. Pecorino's a type of cheese. Pegorino's is a bunch of Guido gangsters out of Alderney. They're all mafia, though? Of course they are. Cosa Nostra and all that shit. Our family used to be bigger than all them mafia families put together. Back in the day, that is. Not this shit again. I heard this speech a million times. Oh, they shoot. ran the city. People were scared to say their name, let alone come near their place in purgatory. Life was great. We were in charge. It's fucking true. I'd like to hear you tell Gerald that it's a boring story. My brother wouldn't take too kindly to that now, would he? You know the purgatory is called what it is because people were so scared of the McCreary's? Did you know that, Nico? It's called that because people found McCreary's story so fucking boring. Listening to them was like being in purgatory. <laughs> Fuck you, Gordon. I'll fucking come back there and kick your fucking ass in a minute. I hear that Francis McCreary is your brother. Fucking Frankie, my brother. He may have a badge, but I tell you for a fact, he's as crooked as the rest of us McCreary's. More so. At least we ain't fucking hypocrites. Kate's the only decent one. I can believe that. You know Frankie, do you? I got a story for you if you do. Another fucking story. Shut up, Gordon. So, Nico, when Francis and Gerald was growing up, Frankie becomes an altar boy. He swears to this day that he wanted to serve the Lord. Jerry knows the truth, though. He only put on that cassock so he could pocket the change in the collection plate. So much traffic. That's Francis, down to a fucking T. I don't even know if he realizes what a crook he is. That sounds like the Francis McCreary I met. I bet. <coughs> Model community leader, my ass. You're just worried he'll stop clamping down on you. Ain't you, Paggy? I'd like to see him try it. Not gonna happen with the things Jerry knows. Here we are, boys. Moment of... All right, boys. If Ray is correct, then the money's going to be nice kept car. in the office in the main building. And there should be a boat docked out back for the getaway. All right, it's up and over the fence. Don't go too fucking far, Nico. Boom, bang. Bang. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang. Let's get this money. Got you. That's a friend. Follow Packy. Uh, oh, friendly.
Are we swimming to that boat? Swimming for a day. Make me want to play GTA 5. Shouldn't he have gotten the boat when I have the bag of money that's just going to get all wet? I would hate that so much. Oh, dude. That was I would get so beautiful. sick. Oh we my god. <laughs> and Brother Jerry's gonna be fucking ecstatic. Providing the Angelotis don't figure out it was us, they ripped them off. And don't fucking worry about it. Now this figure was another one of the five families. Us McCreary's are under the fucking radar nowadays. It ain't a problem. I hope you're right. For my sake, shut up and think about the money. If that don't work, think about my sister. I tell you though, you're only getting your hands on one of those things, you maniac. And it ain't gonna be my Katie. I'll think about the money then. What a trooper. Driving in Liberty. We did it. Top of the fucking world. Here's your chef. Don't go spending any. Nice. <laughs> Might as well go do this one while well, we'll probably get a text are, right man. when we get Hand here. Like, back he's saying, Oh, I have a mission now. Or a call. Oh, portrait of a killer. Come in, Nico. Hi. So. You fought in the war. You know a lot. Yes, you're looking for some people. We're all looking for that special someone. But most of us don't want to kill them when we find them. Most murders are committed by people you know. <laughs> most wives are killed by their husbands. Yes, and my wife had better stop sleeping with that tennis coach or... <laughs> I'm joking. I'm sure your wife doesn't need to sleep around. Well, I'm joking. I'm sure she does. Funny. I'm divorced. My wife can sleep with whoever she wants. Interesting. I'm not divorced. I was never married. No details. I need you to go find someone for me. I'll be getting a picture through shortly. This is important. So why use me? We always use people like you. Karen, Michelle, she was the same. Someone with something to lose, but not much to live for. What's in it for me? Two things. One. You don't get a hundred murders pinned on you. Two, maybe I will help you. Maybe I won't. Now get access to a police computer and wait for my message. Go. Oh. What? Okay. 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 And. Contact will send you a picture of the target. Read it. Read the message when it arrives. Need a police computer? You said? Alright, time to find a cop car.
Nice. Calculating route. Ah, oh, shoot. Turn left. Uh, Turn left. do we still need the cop car? We're going to Doesn't look like we do. <laughs> Here we are. Thank you. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Alright, go up. Going to, to record some horizons. All right, man. I appreciate you stopping by, Dev. Uh, and I hope you have a good time playing that. Did you serve your purpose? Yes. Then you are that much close and strange feeling. Congratulations. Packy. Nico, man, look, I ain't a pimp. What are you talking about? I'm saying, would you? She don't get out much. She sure, she likes you. I'll give her a trust me. Pull over. Let's call a uh, Playboy X. Try Twain. Yo, this is Dwayne. I'm out. Damn it. Go, taxi. Come on, pull over, pull over. Nice, nice. Thank you. I want to go Take me to Packy. Krasenberg and them booty cutters, I'd do something special with that. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Dev, this is it. This is the mission. 
Dev, come back. Hold on. This is it. There he is, Nico Belek. Nico, these are my two brothers. Well, two of my brothers, the two that count. Derek and Gerald. Hi. Derek has just returned to the family fold after a good few years in the old country, involved in the struggle. Sort of like you, I'd imagine. And Jerry, Jerry's the man. And you remember Michael, St. Michael? <laughs> yes, yes, it's uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Nico's a trip, man. I met him through that Puerto Rican coke dealer. So you want to involve him in family business? What do you know about him? What I know is he likes a fight and he ain't the fucking law. Oh. No offense, mister. That ain't good enough. Well, it's good enough for me. He's a good lad, Jerry. Uh, was I talking to you, Brett Halfwit? <laughs> oh boy, yeah, <laughs> you're back. To the unfortunate <laughs> victims of brother sister marriage. Don't you speak about my I assume you like got that. my message. Oh, you're like fucking Cleopatra. Fifteen generations of brother sisters fucking, and you're so thick you take orders off my idiot brother Packy. Who's so stupid? He had the tattoo his name on his arm. If there is a problem, I'll go. No trouble. I have other ways of making money. There's this no is problem. literally just likes the mission the about everything, which that they based off already, all the heights like in men. GTA 5 <laughs> off of. No problem. This is like the most I'll famous mission in, uh, screw up. Packy, in GTA 4. He's been away. And you? Nothing personal, but don't fuck with my family. Or I will fuck with yours. Intimidation. Three leaf clover. All right, we're heading to the Southern Algonquin branch of the Bank of Liberty. Nico, you're the designated driver. Okay, one sec. I really need to go to the bathroom before we get this started.